Hello everybody, I am Chris Mario Master, and uh, today we're going to decide whether or not we're going to the Wooded Kingdom or the Lake Kingdom. Wooded Kingdom or Lake Kingdom? Wooded Kingdom... I think we're going to go with the Lake Kingdom. Because, you know what, it's, 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 it's faster. The Lake Kingdom, a splendid idea. So, uh, truth be told, <laughs> um, this is not live audio I'm doing right now. <laughs> Funny story, <laughs> I actually didn't get a chance to plug my microphone in during this episode, so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do, uh, post audio. Uh, it's better than no audio, in my opinion, so I'm gonna try to commentate on the game, but, uh, if my commentating is a little off from what's actually happening, it's it's because I'm watching the same video you're watching, uh, except without my commentary, so this is gonna be, uh, interesting. Uh, this is completely my fault. I, uh, unplugged my microphone on accident and didn't realize it. He kidnapped Tiara, and now with this binding man, he's got a wedding ring. Is he going to steal a whole wedding? Seeing as how we've got some time to kill, let's review some useful skills. Travel tip, homing cap throw. After throwing your cap, shake the pro controller again to perform a homing cap throw. Your cap will fly toward the nearest target as you, target you can see. It's super handy when your aim is off. Well, there it is. Next, let's read up on the Lake Kingdom. It says they're known for their fashion. And, oh, there's a famous wedding gown there called the Lock Lady Dress. Pretty dark outside. Look at all that pixie dust coming out of the back of the Odyssey. <clears throat> But, uh, yeah. Lake Kingdom. Lake Lamode. Lamode sounds better than Lamode or whatever. So, uh, we're still sporting that cowboy outfit, which is, uh... Brutals over the lake. Which is, uh... I'll probably get that changed, uh, but... Don't worry, this kingdom has one outfit to change into, so we're gonna work to do that. The Brutals, they're here too! So, looks like we're kicking things off. Just grabbing some coins. Uh, there's a... Regional coins, uh, everywhere, but, uh, the reason I picked the Lake Kingdom first is because it was, it's one of the smaller kingdoms, you can get it done pretty quickly, uh, they don't have a lot of regional coins, uh, I, I'm gonna try to get all the regional coins in this episode, but, um, because there's only 50, in the smaller kingdoms, there's, uh, 50. My goodness, that monster's minions just stomped in here uninvited, and they stole our kingdom's finest flock lady dress, it's a tragedy! But yeah, uh, but the first thing that I uh, I love doing is, uh, you know, finding a way to gimp the game. So if you do a triple jump and a hat throw and then a wall jump and another hat throw, uh, wow, great jump. You can actually just get up to the platform and skip over like half of the <laughs> level, which is already a small level. But uh, we got the courtyard flag and uh, if you come over here, open up the flower and go to the zipper, you can actually uh, unzip this. There we go. Unzip it and reveal a little path. Uh, if you unzip everything. And uh, unzipping everything, it really reminds me of uh, Kirby's Epic Yarn. Because uh, in Kirby's Epic Yarn, they had stuff like that too, where uh, you would just grab onto things and unzip them. And it was uh, it was pretty, pretty cool concept. But uh, that's the first moon we're getting in the Lake Kingdom. So, you know, it's probably not the most popular first moon to get in the Lake Kingdom, but it's... Uh, definitely one of them and if we come over here is this a fish pond neat if you come over here there's actually a painting uh, at the bottom that looks a lot like the sand kingdom but uh we're not gonna go into that just yet uh, I don't think we're ready for that we'll come back to that if we ever need an excuse to go back to the sand kingdom so uh, we're just gonna go around collecting some coins and moons and if we look in the water it's actually a little music note so if we start it there's a little ring of music notes now that we can collect and just uh, have a little free moon for that. I miss in Mario Galaxy because in Mario Galaxy they had the mu the uh, music notes too, and I really miss how this get how the music notes would create a song. I think they should have brought that back. That would have been so much nicer because uh, in Mario Galaxy you can create like a uh, it would be like a little Mario ditty for you, you know? It'd be like like the Mario World thing. But in Mario Galaxy, that's what they did when, they, when their music notes. But in this game, it's just do 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 do. It's like, oh man, it's like it, it, this game's all about attention to detail too. So that would have been like a perfect. That would have fit right in. But uh, before we head into the main area, uh, we have another one of those uh, big weird block things. Um, still can't do anything with it. 
Uh, we'll figure out what it is one day, but not today. This stone certainly is peculiar, but it doesn't, have, it doesn't seem to do anything. And there's some more regional coins just kind of hanging out everywhere. Sorry, I hear my, uh, my knuckles cracking. <laughs> uh, you're looking at the water plow. I don't know. <laughs> if we open up the zipper, we can actually go through the main path. The floor drops, and we are inside of this little water thing. Now, uh, the thing is, is uh, we have to do a lot of swimming in this level. And the thing with water levels is, watch out for those spikes. Uh, water levels, in modern games uh, at least, they, they make them look really pretty. Like, if you see all the sparkly stuff in the background, but they don't, they're not fun. Like, I can't, I can't legitimately think of a game with actually, like, fun lo water levels. Where if I, I were, if I imagine a water level having fun, if I had to pick something, I guess I'd say, uh, Majora's Mask, because the, but they didn't really have water levels, I don't know, not the water sample, oh my god. But the Zora, like, I, the actual Zora mask from that game was super fun. And we get another moon in this little alcove. Even though it's not, it's not really a, a maze, it's more of like, um, a two-way, two-way intersection. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the water levels are, they're, they're really annoying. Because it, it slows down the pace of a game, like, like, see Mario, like, it takes forever for me to swim, you're always bumping into stuff, you gotta mash the jump button to keep jumping. It's like, it's just a big hassle. But, uh, that hassle can be helped with, uh, our new capturing, our new cat, uh, the new thing we can capture in this level, which are Cheap Cheeps. The Cheap Cheeps can swim and attack if you shake the controller. And we go in this little cubby, you get another moon. So, that's cool. But, uh, yeah, uh, it looks like we're gonna go for... Fish never have to worry about air. Oh, right, uh... This is actually uh, Nessie from, or I think that's its name, from Mario 64 Hazy Maze Cave. Uh, it's called Dory in this game, I guess. But uh, that's a cool uh, cameo reoccurrence thing. But uh, yeah, no, what was I was saying. Uh, we're gonna go for the five moon shard uh, moon. There's uh, the first one right there. So, uh, but that, uh, this introduces the concept of this level is, um, hey, you can breathe in here, even though you're a fish. <laughs> it's weird. Uh, the concept of this level is that every, every, like, piece of the community, I guess, is in air bubbles. So it's like, underwater, but there's air under the water, it's, it's, it's weird. It's, I guess it's kind of like Atlantis, or how, how like, a lot of cartoons and stuff portray Atlantis, like, it's a city underwater, but you can still breathe. If we come over here to these boxes and do a spin attack, we'll kill all these little seaweed guys. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> Whoop, okay. Kill these little seaweed guys uh, who don't really do anything besides just try to run up to you and kill you. Uh, get another moon shard. A whole bunch of buttload of coins. Grab them. And uh, the fifth moon shard is right there in that little prison thing. I don't know what that actually is. But uh, and there's our there's our moon. Uh, our watermelon flavored moon. Uh, I forgot to give them a name. Uh, I like to give all of the moons their own little uh, name. But we have some regional coins over here we can get uh, with uh, Mario. We can't get them with the fish, unfortunately. But, uh, there's not too many places to hide the coins, so that's that's fine. But uh, yeah, these watermelon, we get our we swim over here. Hopefully, we don't run into air and get ourselves another watermelon moon. Uh, definitely watermelon. It's a, the pinkish reddish tint of something is definitely has watermelon flavoring written all over it Like lollipops always are like that the deep red are always cherry, so I wouldn't call it cherry uh, I don't think there I, I think there there is I think a level with a uh, deep red moon, so That's that's got cherry and if we come in here There's a little hat door secret and with a whole bunch of zippers zip zap zoom a bopping all over Timbuktu with our zippers and uh, This level has a cool concept. It's like fabric Nintendo really likes to do artsy stuff, like, and that's not bad, that's not a bad thing, I actually really like it, but they have this, like, weird, uh, I, I don't know, fa fascination is the right word? I don't know if that's the right word. I don't want to, I don't want, I, I don't want to say fetish, <laughs> but they have, I can't think of the word. They have this weird, like, obsession, yeah, I guess that's, I guess that's the okay word to use. With, uh, like, fabrics and paper and art stuff, like, like, Paper Mario and Kirby and Yoshi have all, like, have all delved into this, like, artsy format where, like, their games are actually, like, they look like real, like, art. Like, 
Paper Mario, which I don't even get me started on that game, is uh, like the modern, like the newest one. Everything is actually made out of paper, and everything's made out of like paper craft stuff. And uh, and the new, there's a new Yoshi game, I think, uh, and everything's made out of paper craft too, 3D though, and um, yeah, it's it's just a, it's cool. But and then uh, and then like uh, games like Kirby's Rainbow Curse. The new one that came out, the, the new one that was on the Wii, I guess it's not so new anymore, but it came out on Wii U. It was all clay, claymation, I think, and it was really neat. Uh, it was just like, it, but like, it's, you'll only see Nintendo do that. They, they, act, they treat their main IPs like their indie games, which is awesome. And Mario Odyssey is no exception. A lot of the fabrics are really, have a lot of detail to them. Especially in cases like this with these zippers, they really have a lot of motion to them, and it looks cool. But, uh... We got that key, we killed all those Goombas before, I forgot to mention that. But, uh, we grab our zipper here, we go up, and we go around and down, and this little area falls, uh, because we are here to get our secret moon. So, we grab onto the zipper, and we just fall. <laughs> and you think you died, but you actually found a secret moon. <laughs> I actually had forgotten that you don't die. But, uh, and that's it, those are the two moons you get for, uh, the secret. And, uh, the only way to get out is to go out the way you came, so you try to leave that way. Uh, the doors over there. I think. That's it. Uh, uh, right. Uh, that didn't happen. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I guess that is a. All right. I, I guess that is the quicker way to get back to the beginning. <laughs> anyway. Uh, we're back into the water. Hopefully, uh, every time you come out of something or get a moon, you, you get your air refilled. So. That's uh, not, not that big a deal. Our precious Slack Lady dress stolen! I can't believe it! But we are now in the water plaza. Is that monster still out there? And if you come over here... Oh wait, no, it's the next one. Over here, uh, there's a little secret room over here with this lady. Oh, you found me! Very clever! You can have this as a reward. She gives us a moon. Our secret little room. What a... Let's keep this place a little secret. It's a really weird innuendo, but whatever. Uh, over here, we got some blocks, get some coinage. It's always good. Uh, and the weird thing about the plaza is that the only way to go up higher floors or to swim or to go outside and come in these little air pockets like you see over there. Um, but we have... Oh, there we go. So, this is where the dress was displayed. But uh, we just collected enough purple coin, not purple coins, regional coins. Purple, well, they are purple coins, but we have enough regional coins to go and buy ourselves this area's uh, respective outfit. So let's go ahead and buy that. Welcome, traveler. You may know that coins come in two kinds, regular and purple. The regular coins are accepted everywhere. Purple coins can be used in the kingdom where you found them. How may I help you, traveler? So we are going to go ahead and buy ourselves the swim goggles. Thank you very much. Clip those. Let me wait. Swim goggles. Yep. Yeah, yeah, okay. And the uh, swim swimwear. And equip those. So Mario will be sporting a very fashionable swim outfit with a snorkel and a tube, and it looks very distinctive. <laughs> the stripes just kill it. But it's fine. Uh, Mario with his little flippers. It's awesome. Hey, Mr. Beautiful Black Lady Dress. Welcome. You've come at a troubling time. And uh, get a flag here, one plaza display window, and talk to this lady. Talk, eh, talk, yes, yep, okay. There was a lovely lock lady dressed in this display window, but that monster came and stole it. He stole our kingdom's greatest treasure. But now that we have the swimwear, we can talk to this lady. If you travel all the way to the Lake Kingdom, you should dress for the occasion. To get into the lock lady dress display window, you have to dress like a swimmer. Traveler, you look ready to swim. Please go inside. The lock comes off. Enjoy your visit. And we can enter the room with the lock lady dress and throw a hat on top and get a moon. And I don't know, I, I don't know, but uh, like this kingdom prides itself on this. I feel underdressed on this one article of clothing, but I don't think is there actually a place that prides itself on like I our our town state is known for making this specific article of clothing, just this one though. And that's it. I feel like that's not a thing. I feel like if that's the, like, like whatever it is, a country, state, city, town, if that's the entire thing's accomplishment, that's, I feel like it's not that big a deal. Well, not, I mean, that's my 
point of view. I know things are subjective. I, if, if there are any fashionistas out there, you guys do an awesome job at making clothes. <laughs> Seeing as how it's a necessity. That got weird quick. But, uh, let's see, grab some coins. Uh, I think I'm looking for some regional coins right now. But, uh, because I'm ignoring the switch. I'm ignoring the switch. There's nothing over here, just ledges. So we gotta slap the switch, this door's gonna open, and we can swim on up to the next uh, part. Swim on up. There's some regional coins out there, uh, over the ocean. But there's also some up top. This great thing, so you can do a grab phone jump and grab them. Hang on to the ledge. Grab those. And if we come over here, hit this flower, you can do a helicopter thing. I don't know how that even works. Like, how does Mario... How does the flower determine the gravity Mario has? It's, it's, it's all, it's just cool. <laughs> there's a little zipper, oh, that way. Uh, and there's some regional coins inside. We already have just about half, so that, that's, that's pretty cool. They don't, they don't really, they're not really that crazily hidden, hidden. But if we go over here, there's a little alcove up there with a, something in it. There's some more regional coins over here and on the ground. If you're still in the background, I'll be heading back to get those. But there is a door there with a secret inside, but we'll be we'll be right back to get that in a minute. We're going to actually hit the switch before we forget so that we can go down and grab those original coins that were hanging above the water. Grab those. And now we can get back up because we hit the switch. And if we actually go over here, you can see one of those boxes is sparkling a little much. So we can give it a good old smackaroni. And another watermelon moon is here. And it went all the way over there. So... Uh, we have to go get that now, but if we come over here, or I'm sorry, uh, we actually are going to not get that moon yet. We're going to go get these regional coins down here, so we have a way back up, and then we're going to wrap around and grab some more moons on the way. Let's go down here, grab these three. They like to hide regional coins behind a lot of stuff, uh, is what is very noticeable, but, um... They're not too terribly hidden. Like, they're not like, ah, oh, like, where the hell is it? Like, it's like, where it's like underneath, like, this, like, random piece of garbage or something. I can't stand that monstrous vile henchman. They still are beloved lock lady dress. Yes, the Brutals are here. Uh, their arena takes up probably the, like, a third of the map. But if we come over here, and there's an 8 bit pipe we can go into, and very simply. We just uh, get a music note and collect all these pretty linear music notes uh, at varying heights. Just go down and back up, grab these, and we get ourselves another moon, an 8-bit this time. And if you see at the left, there's actually a little crack we can go into, uh, as is the case for most 8-bit uh, sections, get some original coins, and we're done. Usually 8-bit sections... Uh, where they say they end is not where they actually end. You become quite skilled at being flat. I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure Mario spent most of his life being flat. I wonder how long Mario has been flat as opposed to being 3D. Because uh, I I want to actually know if Mario has been 3D or flat longer. I, I would assume. I don't know. I mean, mm, I mean, I guess I guess eventually it will be 3D because they're not gonna go back to 2D. It would be awesome if they did. They can make like a, they could do like a Sonic Mania ripoff and do Mario Mania or something, like where he's 2D again. What's in the box? That'd be a cool concept, but uh, I don't think I don't see Nintendo doing that because uh, the new Super Mario Bros. series does not get as much uh, love as they thought it would, because uh, it's pretty two, it's, it's literally a two-dimensional game, <laughs> like in terms of depth and in terms of how the game looks. Uh, that's why they made 3D Land and 3D World, which were uh, I feel were better received, and I do I, did, I personally enjoyed them better, but still it was not what we wanted. Odyssey was what people wanted. They wanted the they wanted the sunshine, they wanted the 64, they wanted the galaxy, those kind of games, and they, they knocked out of the park with this. So that's so it's always good to learn from your mistakes, kitties. Never repeat your mistakes, because if you don't learn from your mistakes, then you're not gonna learn in life, and blah blah blah, that stuff that parents tell you, that's not my job. But, uh, if you look over there, there's some regional coins, so we're gonna helicopter our way over there. Probably should've just went left to begin with when we started, but I didn't. But we're up to 40 now, so we already have, there's only 10 left already, so that's, uh, that's what I'm saying, there's not, 
not that big a map. But uh, we're in this big secret area. Uh, and, the, and the floor looks like it's like made out of gelatin or something. It's pretty neato burrito. Uh, but these spiky guys uh, are the only enemies in the game that you uh, can't kill or capture. So that sucks. Well, there, there technically is a way to kill them, but it's... Spoiler. <laughs> but so we come onto this elevator thing. Try not to get hit by these spike spinies. Not spinies, spikies. God, the enemy names of Mario so creative. Come over here, and uh, <clears throat> we go up. And if we peek around here, you actually see there's a little alcove we can go in. So if we go back into the elevator, the tippity top of the elevator, and wait for it to go up. We can do a ground pound jump. Almost. Again. There we go. Do a little ground pound jump. Get up here, and there's a chest. Inside the chest is another watermelon flavored moon. Jump, grab, and climb some more. Climb some more. And we got a bunch of coin rings over here. So if we can just get it right. There we go. Get all the coins. And there's the moon for completing the actual secret. Jump, grab, cling, and climb. Go back out on the pipe. And let's see what's next. Uh, hmm. Well, I think we can go to the boss now. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything glaring out of this. So, let's head over to the boss. Bunch of little goombies, goombo goomboys over here. I don't know what the actual name of the tiny goombas are. Goom goomblets? Goomblets. Gum, gum, gumby? <laughs> gumby? <laughs> Whatever. D forget the flowers. Do, do a tech jump. And here we have the Brutals! They've returned for another walloping! And we're gonna fight one of my favorite ones. <laughs> You're too late. We already got the lock lady dress. And it even matches the boss's tuxedo. So no way we're giving it back. <laughs> I think I don't I think this one is the weirdest because he's actually tall and it just feels wrong. But uh there is a way to like quickly kill this boss. You have to like dive into his head or something. And I try damn it, I'm getting hit. Uh, I'm trying to do it, but it's not working, and uh, I'm gonna try one more time, and there we go. That's, uh, that's, that's what you do. If you, if you, when he throws his hat, you just, uh, j damn it. Well, when he throws his hat, you're supposed to just dive onto his head without actually doing anything, but, you know, I'm a big old dummy dumb, so we're gonna, we're gonna try again. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, my coins are still here from last time, but we're, we're gonna get it right this time. That's what we're doing. We hit, hit the rabbit. Look, he hops, get it? Cause he's a, cause he's a rabbit. He's a rabbit, so he, he jumps really high. <laughs> oh god. He just does, I love the way he moves, where he just has like the hangs. Like, he's like, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> he looks so like off. He he's so like off standish, where he's like, don't touch me, dude. So you gonna try to make a move, bro? But the best thing to do when he's chasing you is to just kind of put your hat in a circle, so we'll hit him. And uh, one more hit, and he's dead. I think. Almost got it. Don't die, please. Put your hat. And there we go. And that's the fight. Oh, goodbye. He dies and explodes, and we get a banana looking watermelon flavored multi moon. So let's grab that. You got a multi moon! Brutal's over the lake. Yeah, that Brutal's my favorite though, because he's like the Waluigi of the Brutal's. <laughs> That's what I was getting at. And we come back to the beginning. Yeah! yeah! Hey, nice. I'm worried about those two. Let's get after them. So now everything is uh, a lot more timid. There's a staircase over here now instead of having to jump over everything. And uh, if you look over here, Splendid, it looks as though we've collected enough power moons. If you look over here, there's, oh, oh, we can make our way to the next kingdom now. It didn't right, you only need like eight. If you look over here, there's actually some art, uh, which helps you, uh, gives you a hint on how to get a moon in another kingdom. So this is clearly the Cascade Kingdom. And if you look on the left side, there's a missing stone thing near the blue and amiibo bot. So uh, something with that is definitely going to be what we need to take note of next time we go to the Cascade Kingdom. So, uh... Everybody make a mental note uh, when we go to the Cascade Kingdom to grab that. But if we come over here, uh, we got a whole bunch of Goombas now. They're not small anymore. 
Uh, and if we, we gotta make a little stack. Ow. We gotta make a little stack to get those original coins. Uh, if I can get them. And we get the little goomblets in this little thing. Thought it was a moon, probably. Uh, and uh, I can't jump on. I, I stack of two can't jump on a stack of three, but a stack of four can jump on a stack of two. So we're gonna do that. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna jump on here, and that should be just enough height to get us up here. There we go. So we, now we already got 44. There's only six left in the whole map. How crazy is that? But next up, we're gonna go lack of two and uh, try to do this goddamn fishing. It sucks. It reminds me so much of it. It, it still it. It's just like. Bigs fishing from freaking Sonic Adventure because that sucked and this is sucks. It reminds me a lot of um of We Play. Uh, remember We Play? Like one of the second Wii game to ever exist. It was like there was a fishing game where you had to throw your line into the water and if a fish came near, your controller would vibrate and if it, it latched on, your controller would vibrate really hard and you had to pull and pull and pull and you got points and you did it for like a minute. It was, it was nuts. That's that's what this is like, cause it's just like, come on, eat it, eat the eat the the Nutella, and put Nutella on the hook. Everybody likes Nutella. Damn it, I pulled, <laughs> I pulled too soon. It's my it's I put I put a big spicy Tide Pod on the on the hook. Would you like one? Everyone's eating them these days. There we go. <laughs> Oh boy, and we got a moon for that! Yay! We got a moon! We, f we, f we fished in the lake kingdom! We caught a fish! Oh my gosh! Whatever. Uh, we come over here. I get these, but uh, this Goomba stack is gonna help us out. It's pretty convenient. We grab some coinage, and uh, maybe a hardage, and uh, maybe uh, one more coinage if we can. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe, yep. And I uh, killed the stack for some good, good muns. Got the heart for even more muns. And uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much all I want to do. We're coming to the end of this episode, just about. So uh, just gonna, I just want to get one more mood over here. There it is. Literally the most simplistic mood you can imagine. Just ground pound right next to the Odyssey. You got a moon. Bam. Bada bing, bada boom. There's your moon. Have a nice day. Alright, well, uh, that's everything I'm going to do in this episode. So, uh, next time on Super Mario Odyssey, uh, we'll be continuing the Lake Kingdom. Until then, Mario's going to take a little swim. Hopefully he doesn't drown. Mario? Mario, don't drown! Don't drown, Mario! No!